Shalom, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites of the North Carolina Rally Camp. Before we go any further, we want to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba'ashim. Ba'ashim. Yahushai. Yahushai. Ba'ashim. Ba'ashim. Rukakwadash. Rukakwadash. Next, we want to give double honors. We want to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Mm -hmm. They taught us this truth. And a double shout along to the men that go on the highways and edges and do these video pistols. A double shout along to y'all. That's, that's right. right. That's right, brother. Alright, All right, we're gonna go into the spirit of the Lord. That's All right. right. You know, so we just gonna flow through the spirit, you know. Whatever precept one of y'all brothers got, bring it on out. We're gonna flow. Right. You already know we gotta okay, get the most common one. Oh, you got one, Shamar? Yeah. Alright, bring it up, bring it up. Again, Proverbs 14, verse 26. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Yahweh of Hashem Yahushai on confidence. Kind, exactly. Oh, go ahead, bro, go ahead, go ahead. Slocky, buddy, go ahead. And his children shall have a place of refuge. Exactly. So, see, Exactly. See, the scriptures just said the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, right? That's what it said? Yes. See, the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. When you go into the word confidence, it means with faith. So, the fear of the Lord is a strong faith. Strong faith to who? Strong faith for the elect of the nation of Israel, which we're hoping to be. Because you know, we fear Yahweh by Shem Shah over man. You know? Thus said the Lord, thus said the scriptures. And it says, what was the other part? Uh, and his children should have a place of refuge. Exactly. And we have a place of refuge right now through these scriptures, man. Because as Isaiah 33 and 6 says, the uh, the, uh, the wisdom of knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, right? And in the Proverbs, I believe it's 18 and 10, it says, uh, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous runneth to it, and it's safe, man. Because a refuge is a place of safety. A shield, man. Yep. You know, so that's only for the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, because they fear your high by Shimei You that's know, right. first that's and right. foremost. I got one. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. You know, it, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's right, man. That's, and that, that's a plain one right there. But it's going to that all the time. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans... You want the beginning knowledge, you know, the secrets, the mysteries, you know, to know what these Christians are actually talking about. Then what do you have to do? You got to fear your power. And it ain't talking about Allah. It ain't talking about Buddha. It ain't talking about the Hindu God of Sheba, Santa Maria. It ain't talking about none of these false gods who are no gods. It's talking about fearing the one and only living true power. Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You see, the one that's been here from the beginning and the only one that's going to be to the end. The one that's making things shake on the face of the earth. The one that's bringing the thunderstorms. The on hurricanes, the tornadoes, the floods, you name it. You see, you, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you need to fear Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And by fearing them, in return, Yahweh Bashim al Shah is going to give you the understanding of the beginning of knowledge, the secrets. Mm -hmm. That's right. The parables, the dark sayings. That's right, bro. And it reads on, but fools despise wisdom and destruction. That's right, but fools, which is two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latino Americans, y'all are fools. Why? Because y'all despise, y'all hate the instructions of wisdom on what to do and what not to do. You see, because here it is, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, they sent they sit their men. You know, um, starting with our apostles of the other great millstone, down to brothers like ourselves, to give you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, the truth according to the Bibles, to tell you what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. But what? Y'all come up against us. Y'all hate the fact that we tell you you can't go contrary to these scriptures. Y'all hate the fact that we tell you you can't eat shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You can't mar your beard and make bonus up on your head. You can't indulge in the me, man on man, woman on woman. Y'all hate the fact that we come in death says the Lord, death says the Holy Bible. You see? So because we come in death says the on because we're coming, that says the Lord, that says the Holy Bible. What? Y'all hate us for that. You see, and that's why y'all don't have the beginning knowledge to understand these scriptures because you don't fear Yahweh by Shemar Shah. Okay. Shemar, you got one? No. Proverbs 18 10. Okay. The name of Yahweh by Shemar Shah is a strong tower. Uh huh. And the righteous run up into it and are safe. Exactly. Oh, oh, what'd you say, brother? And it's safe. Yeah, kind of, exactly. See, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashemi Shah, is a strong tower, man. You know? 
and the righteous running from to it, and it's safe, man. It's just, just, just like somebody chasing you, right? You have a mob of people chasing you, and then you have a building or a, a building where there's nobody in, and where you can hide at. You're going to run inside that building and be safe, man. That's right. Especially if they don't see you run into it, you know? They're going to run right past you, you know what I'm saying? And that's going to give you a, a place of refuge, man, you know? That's exactly what the name of the Lord is uh, uh, against these uh, uh, these uh, wicked devices of the so-called white man Esau Edom and against these demons, man. You know? Yeah, how about Shimei And that's right. And now you're starting to see, you know, Lord will be some men. You're starting to see the elected nation of Israel waking up, running to that name. You got another one, Shamar? Yeah. I'm fooling up. I got right. one. Go on, what you, Matter of fact, you got, you, got one, you got one for me? Yeah. What you got for me, brother? I got one for you, buddy. You know. Yeah, that's your good one. Okay. This is... Take your time, take your time. Okay, okay. I'm all over the place. Right. This is this is Hebrew Israelite one-on-one right here, man. This is actually like the uh, the, lead, the head leader of our camp, Brother Hawaii, Big Bro. Is what I call him. He always say the fear of the Lord needs to be a weekly topic, man. A weekly uh, a, a lesson, you know, because that's very important, man. This is Joe. You. Con, get bring yours out some more. Yeah, bring yours out. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter twenty. I mean, hold on. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two, verse twenty-one. You got Deuteronomy the tenth chapter. No, it's six. Take your time. Take your time. All right. You got it? Yeah, nah. I okay, you go ahead. This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And Shamar, get Deuteronomy chapter um 10, verse 12. That's one I had. <laughs> For real? No, you go You get it, Shamar. What do you say, man? <laughs> this is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh by Hashem was shy. That is wisdom. Exactly. And what man is it talking about? It's talking about yeah, Israelite man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners through the seed of your father. He said unto man, he said, the fear of the Lord, which is first and foremost, that is wisdom, man. See? See how proud, see how the, the scriptures link up when you do precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. The scriptures starting to make sense now, man. You know? Read that scripture again, brother. Mm -hmm. This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. Mm -hmm. And unto man... He said, yep. Behold, mm -hmm. the fear of Yahweh by Shema Shai, that is wisdom. Right, the word behold means to look. He said, look, man, the fear of the Lord, that's wisdom, man. That's the true wisdom. You know, not the wisdom of this world, man. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to Yahweh by Shema Shai. The fear of the Lord that starts off uh, with, with getting the true wisdom, man. The wisdom that's going to save your life if you're of the elect. Mm -hmm. You know, brother? It reads on. And to depart from evil is understanding. Right, and to depart from evil, evil meaning wickedness, is understanding. And how are you going to depart from evil? By fearing your high, by Shimei Shah. Knowing what he hates and what he loves. What, knowing what he doesn't like and what he does like, man. You know, that's how you're going to depart from evil, man. Depart meaning to stay away, to avoid, to abhor, you know? Mm -hmm. That's it on that. That was it on that? Yep. You got one, Shamar? Yeah. What you got, brother? Yeah. What you got? Yeah, it's, kind of. uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 24. Mm -hmm. It says, Yahweh by Shimon Shai commanded, commanded us to do all the statutes to fear mm -hmm. the power, our power for our good always, that he might preserve us alive. And it is set a standard. Exactly. See, how about Shimei Asha gave us the laws that is the commandments of the Bible and his fear, he put his spirit of fear on us for our good, man. You know? And it said until this day, right? Yes. Up to this very day, man. The fear of the Lord, having the fear of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Uh, having faith, you know, uh, catching the hell that we're supposed to go through. You know what I'm saying? It's all for our good, man. Yahweh Bashima Shah set up these things for our good, not for our downfall, man. The law, statutes, and commandments of the scriptures, those for our good. The fear of Yahweh Bashima Shah, that's for our good. The corrections, the, the rebukes, you know what I'm saying? The punishments, the hell that we catch, that's all for our good, man. Until this very day. Matter of fact, somebody hold me Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, mm -hmm. in the 13th verse. 
This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Right, this is our purpose, man. That's what it means when it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. I Meaning, let us hear our purpose in life. You know, brother? Fear the Most High mm -hmm. and keep His commandments. Exactly. First and foremost, fearing the names of Yahweh Bahashim Shai, and then keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the Bible to the best of your abilities, man. But first and foremost is that fear, man. That, 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 that deep level of respect for the Lord, man. You know, knowing if you mess up or you do something wrong, that the Lord is going to jack you up, man. You know, just like as a father, if your father tell you not to do something and you do it and you get punished for it, it's for your good, though. And you know not to do it again to the best of your ability. You know, real quick, just laying off the brother, mm -hmm. it said what? Fear the most high. You see, so first and foremost, you know, that fear has already got to be in you. You see, because when we first woke up to this truth and we heard our apostle of the great millstone preaching these words, we feared. You see, and it led us to us doing what? Keeping the commandments. You see, because when you start keeping the commandments, that's going to show the fear that's already in you. Mm -hmm. You see, but two thirds of our people, they're hearing this word and they're not fearing. Why? Because that fear was it, it was never in them. You see, so first and foremost, that fear has already got to be in you for you to do what Yahweh Shema Shah commands you to do. That's right, brother. It reads on: Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, mm -hmm. for this is the whole duty of man. Right. This is the whole order. Of man, what man is it talking about? It's talking about an Israelite man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners through the seed of your father, man. This is the whole duty. This is our calling in life, and for us, man, you know, because the Yahabah Shema Shah chose us out of all the rest of the nations to give to give us His laws, statutes, and commandments of the Scriptures, which makes us separate uh, to these other nations, man. You know. Right. And, our, and, our, and our duty, our calling is to keep them to the best of our ability and first and foremost fearing your high by Shimmy Al Shai. You got one, Shamar? You want me to hold you, brother? I'm sorry. Shamar got one. Shemar, no. you, you got one? No. What you got? Yeah, you remember me to see verse 12. Get my verse 10 to 27. Bring it out, Shamar. You want me to do it? You got, you got that. All right. Shamar, you can bring it out. It's Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel. That's right. And, and now Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Read on. What though Yahweh, thy power, require of thee? That's right. What is Yahweh Bashima Shah? What do they require? What do they expect? What do they want from you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans? It's going to go into it. But to fear the Lord thy power. There it is. So you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, they're requiring, you see, they're expecting for you to fear them. You see? Why you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans on the face of the earth, you need to be fearing your power. You see, again, not Allah, not Buddha, not the Hindu god of Sheba, not Santa Maria, not Halle Selassie, not Serapis, not Baphomet, not Esau, the so-called white man. Not any of these other nations on the face of the earth. Nobody but Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Again, the the one that's you know on um, making things shake on the face of the earth. The one that can kill you and make alive. You see the one that can wound and heal. You see the one that can on um, the one that's creating on um, the light and the darkness. The one that's creating evil and on um, and making peace. You see those are the ones that you so-called Negroes, Latino and Americans need to be fearing. Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Exactly. As a matter of fact, brother, uh, did your phone work? Yep. Look up fear in the Edermon Dictionary right quick. Kind. Hey, Shamar, right quick. Homie, Matthew 10 and 28. All right. Get Matthew 10 and 28 right quick with the spirit, and then we're going to get uh, be your preset. Um, you on Edermon.com? Edermon. On, online Edermon. <laughs> That's my fault. You good, you good, bro. You good. Take your time. Take your time. You ready for it? Yeah, yeah I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 24. Mm-hmm. And fear not them which kill the body, but are able, but are not able to kill the soul. Exactly, Lawyer Shai is speaking here. Who the word eagerly calls Jesus Christ? He said, "Fear not them which is able to kill the body, but not able to destroy the soul." Man, you know that's talking like about the two thirds of our people, Esau, Edom, and these other nations. We don't fear what man can do unto us, man. You know. 
Man, if you want to, because uh, uh, everything is orchestrated by Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. So we're, we're supposed to fear them, which controls the spirit to uh, make that action, than those that actually do the action. That's right. Read on, brother. But rather fear him, which is able to destroy mm -hmm. both soul and body. Yeah. Exactly, man. Fear your Habba Shemar Shah, which is able to do those things, man. You know, the, the 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 power that can make your life a living hell, man. Make you cripple, you know, make you lose your eye, you know what I'm saying? Make you be uh, come back born, uh, 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 death. blind, death, you know, make you make you come out deformed when yeah. you're born. You know, that's all that's all the uh the works of your Habba Shemar Shah, man. Your Habba Shemar Shah can make your life in hell, make it even more hell. Just have you going through everyday adversity. Exactly. That's why Lord Yahweh says, fear him. Mm -hmm. You know, fear that power, man. Fear the Heavenly Father, man. You know? And he signs as Yahweh Shema Shah, the Father and the Son, because the Father gave all power to the Son. That's right, bro. Brutal. Mm -hmm. This is the um, definition of fear mm -hmm. in etymology online dictionary. Mm -hmm. It says fear, mm -hmm. calamity, Sudden danger, mm -hmm. peril, mm -hmm. sudden attack. See, sudden danger, sudden attack, man. Did not the scripture says the Lord, the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it did not the scripture says uh, in Sirach five and seven no that sense. suddenly no, shall uh, the wrath of the Lord come upon you. Mm -hmm. You know, and that security that shall be destroyed. That's all the works of the Lord, man. That's why we need to fear Him. Read on, brother. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let me see. It says uh, calamity, southern danger, sudden attack. Let me see. Go down a little bit more. Um, fear. Let's see, let's let's do the verb. Um, to fear. Hold on. It says to terrify and frightening. Right. Exactly. We're, we're terrified and frightened by Yahweh by Shimei Arshad, man, by his works, man. You know. He here it is. Uh, Yahweh Shemar Shah is sending these storms, these tornadoes, these earthquakes, these tsunamis. Well, you know, that's all that's all the works of Yahweh Shemar Shah, the creatures that he made, these uh the the the, the uh what's they call the, the the catastrophe, mm -hmm. the tragedies that uh, these car accidents, mm -hmm. so on and so forth, how these people die. If we look up uh pretty much the uh the, uh, the most gruesome killings of somebody, you know what I'm saying? That's to make you figure out about Shima Shah even more. That's right, bro. You know, the terrify ought to be frightened of, man. You know? Mm, that was pretty much it. Yeah, con, con. Uh, you want Proverbs 10 and 27? Yeah, finish that. Um, Shamar had it, right? Nah, I had it. I got it. Okay. Shamar, didn't you have Proverbs 10 and 27? I got that. I was still on Deuteronomy 10 and 20. Oh, I'm sorry, Nikon. Yeah, you good, yeah. Bro. You I was good, thinking, I was thinking about Deuteronomy. You good, you good, bro. You good. Let me finish, he, let him finish that real quick. He, he didn't finish it up? Nah. Okay, okay, con, con, con. Go ahead, Shamar. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what go in the power, thy power inspire of thee, but to fear the power of Allah higher now, mm -hmm. to walk in his ways, mm -hmm. And to love him. That's right. Mm -hmm. So when you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, free how about Shemar Shah, then it's gonna show. Why? Because you're gonna walk in their ways. You know, you're gonna be keeping their own laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. You see? It said what? And to love them. And again, if you fear you how about Shemar Shah and you're walking in their ways, then again, it's gonna show. Why? Because you're gonna be keeping their commandments and that show them that you love them. You know, according to St. John 14 and 15. If right he love, oh kind, kind, I got it right here. This is the book of First John five and three. For this is the love of Yahweh Shemuel Shai that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. You see, so that's what love is according to the scriptures. Love it that you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans keep Yahweh Shemuel Shai's commandment. You see, not eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, mm -hmm. not marring your beard, making baldness upon your head, mm -hmm. not indulging inside of me, man with man, woman with woman, showing brotherly love. You see, not out here on sleep on sleep with the next man's wife, vice versa, which is committing adultery. You know, and so forth for him. If you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans truly love your Habashim Al-Shah like you say you do, then what? You're going to be keeping their commandments. And it shouldn't grieve you to want to keep their commandments. Because what? It's for your own good. You that's see? Right. So that's what love is, that's what love is according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. 
So finish that out, Shamar. All right. Reading on. It says to serve Yahweh, thy power, with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Right, and that word heart goes back to the Hebrew law, it means your mind. So you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you're supposed to be serving Yahweh by Shemasha with all your heart and with all your own, you know, your mind and with all your soul while you're on the face of the earth. But, you know, it's going back, going back. You know, it all starts with fear. While we're on the face of the earth, while we still got breath in our body, our job is to fear your high by Shema Shah. You know, we're supposed to reverence them. Mm -hmm. That's it on that? Yeah. God, I got one for you, brother. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 16. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. That's right. So the only one that's gonna seek which is well pleasing unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai is the one that fear Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And who was that? That's talking about the elected nation of Israel. You see, that's why what? Low willing mean mean these brothers and all this that say but mean these brothers and all this that say I came around the four corners of the earth, pushing his work on um, pushing his work and on um, truth and sincerity, Low will be able to let. But what are we doing? We're we're seeking the things that's well pleasing unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, keeping the commandments to the best of our ability, doing doing what's well pleasing in the sight of your high Bashim eyes. You see, because ultimately, what we fear your high Bashim and what they can do unto us. So, because we fear them, we're going to seek that which is well pleasing unto them. That's right. And it reads, "And they that love him shall be filled with the law." And they that love him will be filled with the law. You see, and we love your high Bashim and what in return we're filled with the law. We have to understand of this word. That's right. Love it on that. All right, this is the book of Proverbs 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord prolong of days. That's right. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Shah prolong of days. You see, so you want to live a long and healthy life. You see, you want to get old. You know, to where you got gray hairs popping out your head. Now, how do you, how do you, how do you get your days prolonged? By fearing Yahweh Bashim Shah. You see, Yahweh Bashim Shah is not going to prolong none of you so-called Negroes, Latino, and American days on the face of the earth. To live, to live that long and healthy life if you're not fearing them. So it all starts with fear. You got to fear them to get your days prolonged on the face of the earth all the way up into that new kingdom that's coming for us. Mm -hmm. And it reads on, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. That's right. But the years of the wicked of our people, two-thirds of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, their years on the face of the earth are going to be shortened. And we see it every day. Two-thirds of our people's years are being shortened on the face of the earth. You see? Little happened to um, I go into this all the time. Little happened to Nipsey Hussle, you know. Little happened to um, Trayvon Martin, Eric Gardner, Freddie Gray, Freddie Gray, Sandra Bland. You see, the list goes on and on. All these people, you know, of Israel, two thirds of them, their years on on the on, on the face of the earth was shortened. Why? Because they didn't fear their power, and that's why Yahweh Bashim Shah didn't prolong their days on the face of the earth because they didn't fear. So if you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, if you don't want your years to be shortened on the face of the earth. And you want your days to be prolonged to live that long, healthy life all the way up to the kingdom that's coming for us. And what you gotta do? You gotta fear your power. Okay. You got some? Uh, probably get one more and then that close out. You got one, Shamar? No. Okay, uh, So you got one more? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Yep. Close out after this. Yep. This is Songs. I knew it was in Songs. Chapter. It's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. This is Psalms chapter 25, verse 14. Mm -hmm, yep. The secret of Yahweh Bashim al Shai is with them that fear him. The, the secret of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, the parables, the deep dark sayings, are given unto them that fear him, which is once again the elect of the nation of Israel, which we're hoping to be, man. Starting off with our apostles and our elders of Great Moonstone on down to younger brothers like us, man. You know, we have the deep dark sayings of the scriptures through the spirit, man. That's why this wallpaper says right here, man. You know, it's given unto you. You to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them is not given. It's given unto us because we fear your high by Shemiah Read on, bro. It reads on. And he will show them his covenant. And he will show him his covenant, which is an agreement, man. His promise, man. His promise is the kingdom of heaven for the, uh, be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven for the elect, man. The, uh, the, the agreement uh, is the deliverance. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to be safe during the time of Jacob's trouble, to be the first fruits of the kingdom, and ultimately watching America be destroyed by this intercontinental ballistic missiles and putting these heathens into slavery, man. Mm -hmm. That was his agreement, you know, his promise, you know? Mm 
you know so hey man hey low in this video is edifying for the Yaki player that's watching again through the spirit party how about she my child this is a uh, GMS uh, Riley collaboration once again I'm brother Naquam brother Naquam Shamar alright before we close out we want to give all honor and glory and praises to our heavenly father and, and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Bahashim Racha Racha Kodash. 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 And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy, and salutations unto the Akims out there who is pushing this truth in the four corners of the earth to the best of their abilities. With that, we want to say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.